Does arguing mean I'm in a unhealthy relationship? Not at all. My husband and I fought for 10 years. Arguing means that, and, and um, you know, can we replace arguing with fighting? Because I think that word is much more clear. Like there's moments where my husband and I will have disagreements and, and, and we will have differences of opinions that we allow each other to have. So there's some touchy subjects that we don't even talk about because we just disagree so strongly. We're on such opposite ends of the spectrum that we don't need to discuss it with each other. We already know where each other stands on that on that particular topic and I'll go talk to like-minded people, he'll go talk to like-minded people. We don't need to convince each other to change sides. So you can have a disagreement about something, but if you're fighting in a relationship, it doesn't mean that this is a failing relationship. It simply means that you don't know how to resolve conflict. My husband and I fought for 10 years straight. And when I say 10 years straight, I mean even when the lips weren't moving, the fight was still happening in the background. We were just choosing to not fight in those moments. We were choosing to just suspend the fight until another time. We are now at a point where we haven't had a fight for five years. And, and my book, Fix That Shit teaches you how to have a fight-free relationship. My husband and I are compatible. We are fantastic together, but we did not know how to resolve conflict. We didn't know how to resolve our own emotions. I teach women how to be emotional leaders in a relationship because we are monkeys designed to imitate. So when somebody brings functional tools to a relationship, and I'll teach men just as much as women, just mostly women are the ones who come to me and say, I need to fix my relationship, and I say, let me teach you how. We will imitate each other. So when somebody brings functional tools to a relationship, over time, the other person will see this continue to evolve, will see how you continue to bring the same function over and over, and start to imitate your function. Neither of us knew how to say I'm sorry. Neither of us knew how to stop a fight. But once I started doing it and I was consistent in those behaviors, eventually my husband started doing the same things. And he saw how I apologized. He saw how I took responsibility for my actions. He saw how I would say at the end of each apology, this is what I'm going to do to make sure I don't do this again and he started to understand the reality of what I was bringing to the relationship, how it was making it better, and he started to do that as well because he wanted to bring the same function as I was bringing. So fighting is normal when we don't know any better. Just know that it can get better. And if you bring functional tools to a relationship and somebody doesn't want to start imitating you, somebody wants to stay in dysfunction, Understand that they love dysfunction more than they love you, and you will earn your way out of the relationship. You will leave that person behind because you are evolving and growing and becoming a better person, and you will take that better you into your next relationship. And because you've leveled up yourself, because you've changed from dysfunctional to functional, you will attract somebody more functional because like attracts like. We often bring baggage into a relationship. We often bring old ways. We bring what we saw our parents do. We saw what we're used to. We seek what's familiar even if it's wrong for us. So if we are dysfunctional and full of baggage, we're attracted to people who are dysfunctional and full of baggage because it's a like and similar energy. Just know that you can learn better, you can know better, you can do better, you can become better. And hopefully your partner will become better with you.